Hey guys, F -f Fire here, bringing you another game review. This time we're checking out F -f Foxes Need to Eat. This game is developed and published by Yumi Games Studio, and is currently available in the Xbox Store for a price starting at F -f $5. This is a single screen platforming game where you could go from one end of a level to the next end uh, with over with 60 levels to explore, and the main objective of your game is to start a level and go e e eat the apple. Now, what I actually like about this game is it goes beyond just some initial confusion of trying to uh, understand some of the things, but the mechanic of being able to go through walls or f f fall down off the screen to come from the top is actually a really interesting and unique mechanic to the game that I really, really enjoy. I, I think this is a really good platforming game. And on top of that, it's a really good, like, entry-level gateway platformer for younger kids as well. Now, the biggest gripe I have is there's these boxes that I always think I should be able to jump on that I can't jump on. And that caused me a lot of di difficulty and confusion when playing the game. But the game is e easily outweighs that with some very simplistic controls. And honestly, a nod that feels like it's giving kudos to, you know, to someone who is kind of an old school Mario fan with the rotating balls and chains and kind of just Mario-esque blocks and kind of like retro music theme and I, I just think this is a, a really f f fun platformer v v visually it looks great um, control wise it ha handles extremely well um, I don't know why I'm just now getting the achievement for completing level 9 when I've completed a ton of uh, other levels um, uh, and it actually looks like the game's also popping some random other achievements, so I'm not necessarily going to complain. Um, you know, I've s spent a good couple hours with the game, and with almost every single level in the game completed, it's something that is just, a, it's a lot of fun and brings a lot of joy. I think any age can really dive into what foxes need to eat and have a good time, and the game also adds in just enough d like difficulty that it ramps up at a really good slow overpaced time, you know, you're not going to go from 0 to 100. You're going to be introduced to just more and more challenging levels and just more and more things that you have to kind of work to figure out how does this work, how does that work, and how can I manipulate moving in and out of the map to get from one end to the other. And that's why, honestly, I think Foxes Need to Eat is probably one of my favorite newer platformers to come out on Xbox, at least from like an indie standpoint, in a very long time. I, I think there's a lot to look forward to with this game, and a lot this game has to offer with what it's giving you mechanic-wise, and a lot of things that you really get to work on and explore. As you can see, you know, there's alternate routes to do some of these levels, so you're having to like really work to figure out like is that actually the pathway I need to go to get to the apple because after all the foxes need to eat so you gotta l let them eat while you can and I don't know why it's re-popping up oh well go, go me it looks like they actually added more achievements to the game that I didn't realize were getting added so I guess this is kind of a, a bonus for, for us that we're just going to be unlocking some more achievements here and I get to, you know, replay some of the f fun levels that I've been enjoying this entire time. Um, but ho yeah, w w with that being said, I hope that you would consider checking out f f Foxes Need to Eat. You know, for, for five bucks, it's a really good price for a platforming game. And this game just... You know, it's just a fun, simple platformer. There's not much more to say beyond that. But again, I highly recommend you go to check out for Foxes Need to Eat. If you like pl platforming single screen games that has just its own different, unique kind of twist. And yeah, I uh, want to thank you guys for w watching this re review. If you uh, agree with what I had to say, let me know down below in the comments. If you disagree as well, let me know as well. If you did pick up Foxes Need to Eat, uh, let me know if you've managed to beat it. Are you excited that there's new achievements and stuff to be had to encourage you to run through the stages again. Yeah, outside of that, I hope you consider checking out one of the other two videos on your screen. I know I said outside of that multiple times in this video, but who cares? Really, let's be honest. Um, yeah, I hope you have a blessed rest of your day, and I'll c c catch you guys next time.